Hey guys, um, what is going on? My name is Meta, formerly known as EC Relentless or Relentless, um, and many other, <coughs> sorry, many other names that I've been given over the god knows how many years. Um, today I wanted to do this video for you guys to basically let you guys know uh, exactly what's going on with my life. Um, I, I, I haven't been uploading videos to YouTube and I have a reason why. I've had a few people ask me where have I gone, why am I not uploading, I'm never really on Xbox as much and I basically have, you know, my life's basically t turned a lot and um, a lot of stuff has has happened in um, such a quick quick period of time where I, I just haven't been able to to do something like this and um, I found the time to wanting to do something like this for you guys just to let you guys know what's going on in my life. So. Um, basically, yeah, I've, I have officially quit YouTube, um, it, it is pretty sad, I, uh, you know, I, I've done this for, well, I've done YouTube for such a long time, and, um, I just want to thank everyone that supported me, uh, that probably still does kind of support me, and, and, uh, that might be a bit upset of why I've gone, and why I haven't uploaded, but I want to thank you guys, all, uh, everyone that follows me, interacted with me, and, uh, let me on the dot 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 podcast, which, you know, I will miss the most because that was something that was just amazing that we did. Uh, people loved it and the guests that we had. Um, and a couple other stuff, you know. And um, it's it's been, been something that had to, I think, had its time. And um, I, I personally think I've, I've grown up and I've grown out of, out of YouTube. Um, I, I don't, I did you know, I started not finding it as fun as it used to be, I started finding it more of a chore to have to upload videos and uh, all that shit, and it it just got to me that I wasn't enjoying it no more, I really wasn't enjoying my gaming, and I wasn't enjoying, um, enjoying uploading videos, uh, so, you know, that was one of the reasons why, but the main, main reason why, um, I kind of have been away for about two and a half weeks now, is, um, for people that knew, uh, knew or know, um, I ba I basically have, I had two part-time jobs, uh, my first one was in the news agents, and my second one was basically, uh, on a sweet stall, and, uh, which was in my local town as well, and I used to work at the sweet stall three days a week, and then I used to be at the news agents two days a week, and I used to have two days off, and, um, the guy that I worked for, he he basically said to me uh, that he was thinking about selling the store, and uh, you know I was about I was like oh okay, so uh, you know it's a bit upsetting because I, I wasn't sure about the security of my job until the moment he mentioned that he wanted to sell it to me. Um, so I basically spoke over a. You know, thought about it, spoke with it about my family. I checked, done some sums. I checked the books, and um, yeah, that's basically what I've been doing for the past two and a half months now. Um, I have basically gone from a part-time worker to uh, a businessman, um, owning a business, and uh, being a manager, and having a lot more responsibilities, having a lot more, um, having something that's more important than everything else right now for me right now because um you know this is a like uh, a make or break situation for me now like it's either i'm gonna make it or i'm gonna flop and right now you know it's going really really well you know i'm, I'm enjoying it um it's fun always having a laugh while i'm working and um you know i, I meet so many new people every single day new customers come over and uh, I interact with so many people, I have a laugh with them, and um, I help them out, I try to find what they want, and, you know, the reason my business is so successful is because it's been successful prior to me taking over, but also because I worked there, so people knew me, and it wasn't like I was a new face there, and they were like, who the hell are you, and, you know, I worked there for a few months, and then this all happened, and, um, you know, it, it's going really, really well, because we do... A lot of traditional sweets, a lot of the hard-boiled sweets, uh, cola cubes, cough candy, aniseed twist. Um, that's that's a few to to name, and then we do our normal jellies like the Haribo's. Uh, we do our normal jelly sweets, and um, 
and then we go and then we actually have um our retro section which has got some old time classics uh you know would you believe it or not and um that that's pretty amazing then we have a little fizzy slash sour section we have some traditional sugar-free sweets uh other sweets that are in jars as well that we are bag up um and the most amazing part is which my american friends will like is i actually sell american sweets um yeah i i sell a lot of the the wonka stuff uh like the wonka gobstoppers everlasting gobstoppers wonka nerds uh, these are proper American ones. Um, the M and M's birthday cake flavor, M and M's peanut butter flavor. Um, what else is there? All the pretty much all the M and M's Reese's cups, the white chocolate ones of them. Uh, Butterfingers, uh, Baby Ruths, uh, Red Hots, Boston baked beans, Kool Aid. Yeah, I sell Kool Aid. Um, Pop tarts, uh, Fizz Whiz. Which I think is a UK one, but it's like popping candy. Uh, I sell brain liquors, which is a UK thing. Um, I'm trying to think of all the stuff that I pretty much sell. Toxic waste, which is a UK thing. Uh, Twinkies, yeah, damn right. Uh, I'm the only place in my local town, which is Enfield, to sell Twinkies. Unfortunately, I've run out of them at the moment. Uh, I need to go stock up. Uh, but yeah, we sell Twinkies, Ho Hos, um, and there's the other one, other, the other, <coughs> the other styled ones. Uh, I know it's Twinkies, Ho Hos, and there's another one which I, the begins with a Z. I think it's a Zingers, Zingers, something like that. Uh, but the, yeah, there's those flavors, those, those, and um, a lot more stuff. Uh, Twizzlers, Twizzlers, I sell as well. Yeah, so you know. It's, it's kind of cool, isn't it? You know, I know my American, I know my American sweets, and I sell them all at my stall, and it's it's something that people love. They literally, you know, every day is different, and it always varies, and it's due to, you know, it can be because of the weather. I could have a really, really good day. I could have a okayish day, or I could have a bad day. You know, that's for me to know. You lot to not ever find out. Um, but it all depends on weather, the local town, how it's doing, if it's busy or not. And, you know, when I have an okay day or I have a bad day, I, I kind of see the same effects on all the shops nearby. And it's not just because I'm a store, you know, I sell a bag for one pound. It's that simple, you know. And um, But, yeah, that you know, that's pretty much everything that's going on, guys. I've, I've been working non-stop every single day, seven days a week <coughs> for the past two and a half weeks. And I'm actually having my first proper day off tomorrow which is you know kind of unbelievable i still kind of don't know if it's you know if i am gonna actually have a day off because i always end up having to do something which is you know important because i am a businessman and i'm trying to run a business i'm trying to be successful and earn money and you know yeah i've got a lot of stuff going in my mind that i want to do and i want to travel as well at the same time um but yeah I work Mondays to Mondays to Friday, sorry Mondays to Saturdays, eight o'clock in the morning to half five in the afternoon, uh, and then Sundays I do half nine in the morning to half four in the afternoon. So, you know, it's pretty pretty hectic, pretty manic days. And um, I also have a girl that works for me called Shaned, who's a, a lovely girl, uh, works hard, knows what to do. You know, she knows what I expect and. I get along with her, and it's what I want at a job, because I don't want to be a moody boss, I don't want to be a bossy boss, and I can have a bit of backwards and forward banter with her, and, you know, she just gives it, you know, she just gives it all, because the funny thing is, you know, she's, she's Turkish as well, uh, but she's also a quarter Colombian, so, you know, she gives me that lingo side of her, and then she has her, you know, her normal Turkish side, and, um, yeah, she's basically been with me through, through, the two and a half weeks as well basically she works for me um one day a week or two day, one full day a week and then a half day a week which is on the mondays now uh, at first she was just doing the one day and um yeah she basically came over one day with her mum uh on the i think it was the second day of me taking over and she came on the on the tuesday with her mum and then literally 10 minutes later she comes back and she's like do i know if there's any jobs going around and i was like uh, you could try a couple of the clothes shops you know that's that's the best option I can give you uh, and I said I might have something here but it's just Saturdays and she was like okay cool can I give you my number just in case I was like yeah no problem 
and um, I gave her a call on the Thursday saying look are you free for Saturday to come in and she's like yeah uh, what time and I was like come in at half nine do a full day with me uh, see how you go it should be a trial run and um, we'll take it from there see how you do and you know what as you could tell you know like I said she's been with me for all the way so far she she works really well she knows what I expect and that's you know that's I couldn't ask for more I really couldn't ask for more from the girl you know and she's uh she's working tomorrow uh, all day well i'm going up in the morning to set up because obviously i have to push the stall out and that thing is fucking heavy um and if you do guys want to see exactly what my stall looks like i will put some photos on my instagram so please follow me on instagram i it's in the description and all that shit so yeah um so i'm going to set up in the morning she'll come in as soon as she comes in i'll tell her what what needs to be done and all that stuff uh, I quickly do a little walk around, look around, all that shit, and then I'm coming home to relax, possibly sleep a bit, clean my room, um, and try to relax, and then go back and pack away with her, and then make my way home. So yeah, um, it's going to be pretty, pretty manic, so you know, that's exactly what's going on, and that's the reason why I just haven't been able to, able to do YouTube no more, guys. So um, yeah, like I said, you know... <coughs> a lot of stuff has changed and uh, at the end of the month I'm going to be 23 so you know having my own business at the age of 22 moving into 23 is pretty awesome you know and um, I'm enjoying every single moment of it uh, as, as hard as it can be uh, you know I've got my family support I've got my mum my dad uh, my brother sister uh, brother-in-law and just literally everyone in my family supporting me with exactly what I'm doing and uh, my granddad as well you know bless his soul and you know a lot of you guys know exactly about my nan passing away in the beginning of the year and the fact that the last main kind of gaming thing I did was the charitable the charity live stream the 24-hour live stream and um, yeah that was the last thing I pretty much did in a game t in a gaming way and um, yeah, to today or yeah, well, today has been exactly six months to the day she passed away, and uh, it's had this. I've had a. It's been an, a an, a weird day, but you know I've kept going. I've had all the cleaners and the security in my local town, all my friends around, and meeting new people as always. You know, it's just been amazing. I even had people that uh, someone come down a couple of weeks ago actually who knew me from YouTube. Like he came over to the store. It was like. He was looking around, and I was like, you right there, man? He goes, looking, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, like, he looked at me like three, four times, like, all right. And he goes, did you used to do YouTube? And I was like, sorry? And he goes, did you did you do YouTube, like gaming? And I was like, yeah, I used to. And he goes, he goes, is your name Relentless? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, my God, I used to watch your videos. What's happened? And I was like, this is what's happened, you know? It's, it's pretty manic. And he's like, oh, my God, oh, my God. And, um, yeah. So, you know, you can you can kind of see what's been going on in my life. But if you guys want to see a bigger insight and see some pictures of my stall, uh, some of the funny stuff that I noticed, uh, me and Chanel, uh, me and my best friends, and some of the events that happened around the thing, you know, a couple of weeks ago, there was, uh, on a Saturday, there was, like, three dancers dressed in, like, proper Brazilian costumes, and they were just dancing, and I've got pictures with them. One of them's actually on my Twitter, which is my, my header photo, you know. And you can see my stall in the corner, and the opposite corner is me and the three girls. And yeah, just being a player, pimp, you know, me. But uh, yeah, if you want to see all of those, you know, follow me on um, follow me on Instagram. It's at Meta Austin. Uh, also, my Twitter name has changed to at Meta Austin as well. So please, you know, follow me on both. Um, I would love to to interact with you guys again. So till then, my name's Relentless. Actually, you know what? My name's not Relentless. My name is Meta. And um, I'll see you guys later.